Emilia, can you tell us <coughs> what the president's oh, yeah. doing today? It's Jeff back here in the hey. middle. Can you just give us a sense of uh, how the president is watching at the Trial, well not the He's monitoring. I mean, really, who among us can watch the whole thing? Um, you're facing this way, not that way, I suppose, for a reason. He's monitoring. I think the it's an ad water and stir day. It's the proceeding is preordained. You've had all these Democrats, including um, 20, 29 or 30 of the 31 Trump Pence district uh, Democrats, come out and say that they're voting for impeachment. It's a big surprise. I think it's probably a big surprise to their voters because they promised their voters they would come to Washington and work with the president, not try to remove him from office. So it'd probably be a big surprise for those voters. He's monitoring it, but he has um, a lot on his schedule today, as he does most days or all days. Does he see impeachment as a stain on his legacy? No, he doesn't. He sees it as a stain on the legacy of people who have been so focused and hell-bent on removing him from office, on not getting the story or getting you a job in your district, but getting the president. And that is unfortunate. We you know we know it's a divided city, Kristen, we know it's a divided country on many things. The country's more and more um, undivided, if you will, on impeachment. They're less divided on impeachment. The independents have going been going against impeachment and removal. You see how impeachment is is falling as as an important issue to people compared to other things that really motivate them and that the president is working on and would like to work with Democrats in Congress on infrastructure and health care and the economy and education and immigration. And all of that has just been completely subsumed by the get Donald Trump obsession. I think it's too bad. And just to follow up on something, is the White House really fine with that? Is he really fine with that? Well, no, we're not fine with the impeachment. We think it's ridiculous, specious, um, spare articles of impeachment. But it's a preordained. It's a conclusion in search of evidence, isn't it? It's a conclusion in search of evidence. And uh, so nobody's fine with somebody who should not be impeached who did not commit high crimes and misdemeanors for being impeached. But his mood is fine in that today is it just an ad water and stir kind of day. They, they, they were coming to this for a long time, and I think it's also why, I don't know, they're not particularly joyful and gleeful.